Hi, my name is Lexi and this is Notion Beach How to Go to Shows Alone with Cassie and Sebastian, a special guest. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> For this week's episode, we interviewed the unlikely heroes at their show at Hyde Street Studios. It was a wild time with pretty lights and all that fun. Let's check it out. Alright y'all, we're unlikely heroes. Let's get this shit started, man. Come on, delay. Let's go. Here with the unlikely heroes. Hey, hello. What's your name? I'm Matt Leash Martinez, lead guitarist of the Unlikely. Phenom, Phenom, Phenom. Phenom, Phenom, Phenom. Where's Pins? Jackson, I play drums. Jacksonian era. <laughs> <laughs> so. so I like this painting stuff we got going on. What do we have going on tonight? Neon, neon jungle. Yeah. You know, get all bright. Yeah, or you know, it's just it's like free expression. It's just a nice time for everybody to kind of uh, let loose and just you know be free and you know, kind of create your own persona for the jungle. And what better place to do it at Hyde Studio? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's <laughs> like I, I freak out just being here, doing paint shows here. Like what? Free expression of San Francisco. Yeah. Do you think this is like kind of in tune with San Francisco's spirit? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's like you know it's the spirit of the Bay Area. Like I think everyone, uh, like Bay Area culture, is you know captivates uh, this sort of stuff. You know, just freedom and um, you know just not being shameful of who you are. Um, you know, just a lot of 
just open openness or as you know. Yeah, it's, it's cool seeing the logo projector. Yeah, yeah that's, that's looking hot. Oh like, yeah, why shout is it? To Jack for that. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Jack from the Y axis. Y axis, tight, 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 tight. period, for even like yeah. showing up for yeah, show. We're having a, a jungle with you guys. Support the art, baby. This is our, this is our test jungle right here. Test I don't know, jungle. Space Chrome was pretty inspiring on us. You know, wow. like, it, it helped us, I, at least for me. I don't know about everybody else, but like I really looked at that as like something we can achieve, you know what I mean? It's something that we can throw. Yeah, man. Because yeah, we've already done more an, parties. Uh, anti violence show, benefit show, mm -hmm. and that was like the, I'm, you know, and you know, did a lot of the work for that, and it was just like, like a lot of a lot of fun stuff for a good cause but yeah, now we're doing fun stuff for uh, for fun stuff a BYOB cause <laughs> Uh, tell me about this video that, you're sh that you shot or you're shooting that's all up with this paint. Uh, it's not alive anymore, we shot it dead. There's a lot of black lights, a lot of dancing, a lot of moving around, a lot of sweating, a lot of uh, breath, losing my glasses. It's just like... <laughs> I don't believe you. You're, you're wearing glasses right now. This is... I call bullshit. wanted to really do something that was uh, cool and artistic and really um, breaks those barriers that's you know typical between like genres or art forms like we got a ballerina in there and we're you know putting like hip hop and punk rock you don't typically hear like ballerina and, and punk, punk rock, rock. Like, yeah, ballerina. except for skater boy right exactly he was <laughs> but um you know but i mean it, it's it's it, it's it's shared it's just not very common you know and so yeah we like to try to continue to push uh, boundaries with our music and with our art form and so we thought it'd be cool and then you know, with the black light effect, it creates just like a whole new atmosphere and like environment for the type of sound that we created, which you feel like it has like kind of, kind of psychedelic blend. So wow. just making the, the beauty and an art um, with dance um, that, you know, again, you don't typically see like ballerina dance in the punk rock or, or, or hip hop typically. <laughs> We are going to be an outcast couple man. <laughs> but we turned into this creative ball, energy ball that like <laughs> that just made Unlikely Heroes. Like, it's kind of weird to put a genre, like we were looking to put our music on Spotify and iTunes and we are like, what genre do we put ourselves in? Yeah, it's like, you know? hip hop like alternative is like probably the best places. Yeah. It just kind of encapsulates like everything. And then, you know, it's like, so we're like, we got punk, we got punk rock, we got some psychedelic, we got some indie vibes, mm -hmm. you know, we hip hop for sure. Um, mm -hmm. So hip hop's obvious, the obvious choice as far as, you know, lyrically driven, but there's also a lot of elements that aren't. So it's hard, it's really hard to classify been like hip hop punk rock, hip hop alternative, indies, like, you know, it's just, we don't know, we're just a clusterfuck of everything, man. Just do it, man. Just be a clusterfuck. You don't want to have all these boundaries and genre lines and stuff. I think what you're doing, just keep on doing like what you're passionate about. Thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, you guys. Thank you for coming out. Really looking forward to seeing the set. Yes. Awesome. Yay. Cool. cool. Let's get started. Is it? We need to all come together, be live, be lit, you know, for one another. Um, flame ignites us, the passion is what guides us, so let's make sure that we look out for each other during this experience right here.
Everybody put your hands in the sky right now. Everybody put your hands in the sky right now. When I say hero, y'all say hero, 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 hero. When I say neon, y'all say jungle, neon, neon, neon. We love you guys. Thank you so much for coming out tonight.